Uh, Dr. Uh, Shrujan, uh, occlusion will not cause in the lower anterior. One thing which you need to take care of is the pressure from the tongue. So tongue is, a, is I think, the most powerful muscle in the body. And just like it causes a relapse after ortho case in the lower anteriors, you need to counter the forces of the tongue. If you want, you can just keep a small Maryland wing on your adjacent teeth and that counters it. So that's also a very nice question. Uh, thank you, Dr. Strujan, for asking. And I, I'm, I hope that this session, though very small, is opening a lot of uh, uh, channels for you. Dr. Ankur is asking 1.5 millimeter enough for welding. So for a full arch case, you should weld with a one. Now another big problem I have seen with the welding is that doctors are not using standardized welders, standardized welding wires, and they are not getting the proper output from the welding. So when you use non-standardized welding wires, which are not supplied by the company or welders, which are not st standardized and tested, you may feel that there is a mechanical bond between the wire and the uh, abutment. But later on, when the patient starts chewing, it debonds and then your cases will fail. So be very specific over here. And of course, I think now we are having some good schemes in case no, some of you wants to buy a welder. Uh, it's uh, that some 10 implants or something is free. So that makes the welder at approximately 1 lakh 10 or something like that. I'm not sure you check with 3C Enterprise, but go with the standardized welder. And for welding for a full arch case, you require 1.5 mm wire plus another wire 1 mm, 1 millimeter, assuming that your implants are in good torque and of a good design, probably R line. For a segment case, it is a 2 mm wire, which is needed and a single wire is enough. So I hope that helped you, Dr. Ankur. Yes, Dr. Sumitra, very nice question. R-line kit can be used for both BCS and MU. Yes, it can be used only for MU implants. You need a small adapter, which you can procure along with your implants. That's it. Fine. So I hope all of you enjoyed uh, today's session. Dr. Ankur, I think you got disconnected in between. I have answered your query completely regarding the welding wire 1.6 mm wire for a full arch with a one millimeter wire and for a segment case single 2 mm wire right so i hope all of you found this uh, session useful and i intend to if you want have more such sessions which are more personalized only for the premium group i request all of you uh dr amol i'll take up your question very nice question but meanwhile, I request all of you, if you can, because feedback is one thing which helps us devise programs and do things for you. So if you can share your feedbacks in our inner circle community, uh, it will be helpful for us to plan out such events. Because for me also to block my half an hour, 45 minutes on a regular basis, I need feedbacks. We need more people to probably get encouraged to join. And so things keep working. So I request all of you to take just 30 seconds and do it. And definitely if it is done, we can have more such sessions if it was useful for you. Now, Dr. Amol is asking us stopper available with new drill. We have a different stopper kit, but Dr. Amol, I strongly recommend that you don't get into this habit of using stopper, especially because we are going all the way to the cortical and just a five, seven degree tilt can change your angle, change the length totally. Now, if you're going with a predefined stopper, you may get misguided and then you may end up drilling less. So just keep this habit. It's like if you're learning cycling, you don't you want to get rid of this separate support tires as soon as possible so that you can cycle confidently. So now don't think about stoppers. Don't think about CBCT. Keep your life simple. Keep one kit, one drill, one system and uh, just master in it and things will help you. Uh, Dr. Amol, if you don't mind, you can share your feedback in our inner circle community. Uh, thank you for writing that. So I hope this session was helpful to all. And if you guys want a quick feedback, let me know. We can arrange more sessions uh, routinely, exclusively for this premium group members. So thank you all for joining today. I hope it was useful. If you can also drop in what was your key learning for today, it will be very great. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for joining today.